Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to look into how you can create a new task action and also make it available on the page layout on whichever object you are working on. Um, and I did make a video a while back um, about troubleshooting why a new task wouldn't show up on a screen and I also thought it would be a good idea to make kind of an updated version since some things have changed in terms of layout and whatnot. So we're just going to look into it. Okay, so first of all, in my org, I have the task object and I have a record type called compliance for my task. So before I even get started, I want to first create the new action for task. So your org may have different record types. You may have compliance, you may have a call type or different record types of task. Um, so what you're gonna do is, first of all, you're gonna go to um, your global actions and all of these tasks, so task is a unique object. So for other objects, when you're creating actions, you'll actually go to the object itself and then create a new action for all the other objects. But for task and event, these are global actions. So you have to go to new action here and create a record. And in this case, you are going to create a task record and record type is gonna be compliance, just since that's the only one I have. And I'm just going to call it new compliance task just to make it distinct. Create feed item, why not? And if I hit save, now it's going to bring me to the publisher layout, which means these are the fields that the users are going to see as they try to create this record. You can obviously add your custom fields here to give them more flexibility. Uh, some of these fields are required as well. Um, so I'm just going to keep it as it is. You can remove certain fields, but I'm just going to keep it as it is and hit save. Okay, so we created the new action. We also created, added uh, certain fields to layout. And you can also do predefined field value. This is really awesome because if you wanted to set something by default, let's say any new task that got created, you wanted to have a certain status, um, a call type or whatever it might be. Let's say for this, I want to have a call type of uh, uh, something. I could actually put that in here so that anytime a task is created with that record type, I would have a compliance call type. Let's just say that for an example. It might fail because I probably don't have that as a pick list, but I'm just gonna keep this for now. Or I'm just gonna say internal. So let's keep it empty. Specific value is internal. And so basically what's gonna happen is if you create a task, it's automatically gonna set the call type to internal and you can do pretty awesome things here without adding an automation. So if you're creating a task and if you are certain fields to be defaulted, you can come here and predefine field values and add those. And that is going to save you automations, which I have seen in many orgs uh, where they actually end up adding automations for something that could just be a predefined field values. So keep an eye out for that. It's really helpful to know the features here. Okay, so we created the new task. Now I actually want that to show up on my contact page. So right now, I'm on my contact page and I already have this new task appearing. If I refresh my screen, I already have this new task, but this is for the standard master task record type. So now I'm gonna go to try to add it to the contact page. So for that, I'm gonna go to contact record. This is pretty standard stuff. So contact, I'm gonna go to page layout. I think my default is contact layout. Okay, it's loading. And I'm going to try to find task, compliance task. I'm just going to drag and drop here. And if you have noticed, like I created this under global action, but I can now see this under the mobile and lightning actions. So I just added it here. I'm gonna hit save. And by the way, you can also use dynamic actions, but that's a whole another topic for a different video. Okay, so I added that here. So now I should be able to see that new compliance task here. But I don't. Um, and just to be sure, I'm also gonna look at the page layout assignment just to be sure that I am actually looking at my assigned page layout. So I'm a system admin and that's the layout I have. So one quick troubleshooting that you can do right away is you have to make sure that the record type that I'm trying to create is actually available to my profile. 
So that's number one reason why it wouldn't be showing up even if you added it. So I'm going to go to profile. So here I'm on my profile. I'm going to go all the way down where I can find the record type assignment. So if I slowly scroll down, I will see the tasks and looks like I only have access to master record type, not the compliance record type. So I'm going to add that, hit save. And hopefully that will fix the issue. I may have to do refreshing a few more times. All right, there we go. So we have new compliance task here. And as you can see, we have all the fields that we wanted to add. Just going to hit a new due date of something. Testing. And I'm not setting any call type. I'm going to hit save. And if I go to that task now and I'm going to try to bring up the call type value and that is internal. Even though I didn't really set that up, it's just defaulting it to internal because I set the predefined values, which is really awesome tool if you are trying to avoid empty values, but you also don't want your users to kind of enter that manually. Sometimes uh, it's a business decision, obviously, uh, based on certain record types, they may want to report it a certain way. So you can always take advantage of predefined values. Hope that was helpful and you learned something new. Please let me know in the comments if there are still issues with your task action or any other actions. I'll be happy to help in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.